doctor. Can I get some points for a story for my paper? What would you like? Can yes. I think so. Won't you sit down? Thank you. My editor likes animal stories, and we often get letters from readers. Only a few days ago, a man wrote to ask if a big monkey could be trained to do jobs around the house. He said he'd heard of something in the car audio. He wanted to know if a monkey could be trained to open doors and carry dishes and things like that. Is that true, Doctor? Tell him if he has wrought iron dishes or locks everything up or doesn't mind having things thrown at him in jovial spirit, he might try it. By the way, I've received a curious little monkey from Brazil only this morning. I'll show him to you. Tell Fred to bring in that little South American monkey, the one that came from Brazil this morning, right away. Thank you. He's a mere miniature compared to most members of his race. And I suppose that most self-respecting monkeys would put up quite a kick at recognizing such a weak relative. Here he is, now. Here's a little fellow. My, how cunning. My, what a funny-looking animal. Is it really a monkey? I'd like to have something like that for a pet. He's awfully cunning. Yes, it's a marmoset. There's about a dozen different kinds. He doesn't seem to be gifted with much brain. Now, Doctor, that gives me a marvelous lead for a story. I'd like to compare the stem relation to some of your smartest monkeys. The kind you think might make good household assistants. All right, I'll show you various kinds of monkeys, and you'll get enough points to make up a good story. <laughs> common everyday ringtail monkey who's raced on all American tropics. You might call it an ordinary hand organ variety. This one is cute. What kind is it? One to help you with your story. It's a South American spider monkey. Put this down as a new slant on a monkey story. The new world kinds are the only monkeys that swing by their tails. The inside portion is bare to get a good twisting grip. Why, I never knew that. I thought every regular monkey could hang by its tail. No, only the American monks. Spider monkeys use their tails like fifth limbs and are curious in having no thumbs, although the big toe is well developed. There's a thing I want to ask you about. Why do some monkeys look as if they had the bumps? They never get those things. That fellow is just using his cheek pouches to store food and prevent highway robbery. And that's another point for your story. Only the old world monkeys have those elastic cheek pouches. That's the way you can tell whether a monkey comes from the old world or the new world. No South American monkey has elastic cheek pouches. This fellow is storing away a banana a third as long as himself. And here's a little chap called the woolly monkey. It's a new world kind from South America and has no cheek pouches. He just swallows his food without any fuss. Oh, what's that funny-looking one? He looks as if he had an Eskimo suit. Another South American from the same rain belt as the woolly monkey. If you looked at his coat with a magnifying glass, you'd find that each hair was flat and covered with waxy oil. I suppose the Sackies and Woolies would sneeze their heads off without their raincoats. Their coats are not warm. They simply serve as slickers. Stand quietly here and see what goes on. This little monkey came up with the fox and the coati, so I leave them together as playmates. When I throw in some lumps of sugar, you'll see that the monkey takes the sugar and dips it in the water pan, so he can soften it and eat it faster than the others and come back for more. Now, isn't that smart? Did you teach him that? No, he thought that out himself. That was not prompted by instinct. There are no water pans or lumps of sugar in the jungle. That action shows thought. Look over here. What are they doing to this one? He was hurt in a fight. There are gang wars among these monks. There's the steam pipe gang that chases invaders from the radiator and the trapeze gang. This fellow hung out with the trapeze swingers, then tried sliding down the pipes. The opposing gang trimmed him. What is the keeper putting on? You're not punishing the poor thing. No, nothing like that. Light wood to keep him from chewing the bandage. Wouldn't leave it on a minute. He'll go into the hospital for a week and come out as good as ever, but no wiser. As for medicine, they'll take anything that is sweetened, as long as you give it to them. In fact, that's a point in monkey psychology. This one has eyes like an owl. Yes, and it happens to be called the owl monkey. 
you can hold him. He's tame. You notice as you feed him the mealworms, how he likes them? A lot of people think that monkeys feed on nothing but fruits, and many pet monks have starved on such a diet. Of all animals, a monkey needs a variety of, especially the smaller kinds. It's among the little fellows, like the marmosets. And you remember, you saw a marmoset in the office, that the diet is especially varied. They hunt for insects, lizards, and bird's eggs. They are the smallest of the monkeys, and wild ones look like squirrels jumping about in the trees. Here's a dainty little thing. It's another kind of marmoset, I suppose. Why, its head is the size of a golf ball. And pretty nearly a solid when it comes to brains. It is a marmoset, and of a rare kind with white body and black tail. The first one of the kind that I've ever seen alive. But I'll have to show you some of the old world kinds. This one with a white mustache hails from Africa. Can a monkey talk? You know what I mean, in monkey language. Here's the answer. But science has furnished no one's. Maybe they discuss the visitors and think them curious, like that girl with the funny hat and the man with the loud golf socks. And this fellow talks with his ears. You don't mind him discussing you, do you? No, of course not. There's variety in the monkey clan. Here's a young flapper from Salon, and you can see that she has stolen an early style in bobs. She wears her ears outside. In fact, it would be pretty difficult to hide them. And there are many monkeys in those East Indies. How is this fellow? For a cheerleader. May I ask a rude question? Go ahead. Do monkeys have fleas? What? Fleas in our monkey house? I should say not. The search is mostly a courtesy, like serving afternoon tea. And six months ago, a lady discarded this muff in horror at the courtesies these monkeys showed her, and they haven't found anything yet. But now, if you want a scientific touch, here's one of the alleged lowbrow relatives of the monkey, Horace, from the East Indies. It prowls at night. Cold-blooded scientists place it squarely in line with the monkey crowd. It lives in high trees, and its actions are like a sloth. The most curious thing about it is a single claw on each hind foot. There you see it. A single claw. And here's another low-brow monkey relation, the lemur from Madagascar. But it doesn't look like a monkey. Well, scientists regard it as a part of the clan. And even more curious is the African galago, like a tiny fox that leaps through the trees. Consider this fragile thing, this galago, with a gorilla. A long way apart, but relatives. Adult gorillas attain a weight of 400 pounds. This enclosure wouldn't be strong enough to hold one fully grown. No adult has ever been exhibited. Baby chimpanzees are smart. They might be taught to be the household assistants you spoke about. Here is a chimpanzee who has learned to sew. Isn't that wonderful? How about the orangutan? Is it as smart as this? One hears so much about orangs. You're still thinking about monkey household assistants. Well, here are some examples. You see, this room is like a monkey kindergarten where they try things out. Watch him find how much milk is left in the bottle. Don't speak for a moment. Here's a bright scholar, a young orangutan. If he were full grown or 200 pounds in weight, he'd throw me through the window and pull the electric fixtures out by the roots. This is his idea of indoor sport, making a mess of things. He wouldn't make a good household assistant. Not around anybody with nerves. There's one thing he will always try, and that is to attempt to eat as humans do, but figures it a silly thing to pour anything into a cup when the spout of the teapot is so handy. Thank <laughs> you.